Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Tunbridge Angels away in the National League South. Adam, we're coming off the back of an away win at Truro City, 4-1. An incredible result, incredible day. Having the week to reflect on that and analyse that game, what do you think was so particularly special about that second half? Um, yeah, I just thought the, the intensity, the togetherness that the, the players showed um, and some of their actual play was, was really good. Like Some of the goals was, was excellent. Um, we scored different kinds of goals, goals where we pressed high and, and goals where we just played through and some quick play, so um, that was that was the pleasing thing. Um, and there was lots of good performances as well. Um, but yeah, it just seemed to seem to gel and, and work well together and um, yeah, we want to try and maintain that um, into, into Saturday if we can. Yeah, and on to Saturday, Tunbridge Angels away as we've said. We've met them on the opening day of the season, it was a Nicky Wheeler winner late on. What do you think has been learned from that one? They've always been a really competitive side, Tunbridge, and a tough place to go. What are you expecting from them? No, yeah, they were like come up against Jay's side a um, few times now over the years and always been you know, a tough game, um, whether it was down at Margate or now at Tunbridge, uh, a few, few in Kelton. So, yeah, real, real tricky games. Um, don't give a lot away. They try and play as well. They've got um, you know, lots of aerial presence as well, especially in forward areas. Um, and a couple of players that we, we know um, all about as well. So, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be a real tough afternoon for us. Um, we've got to perform even better than we did down at Truro to get anything. And, and that's the challenge that we've got to start setting ourselves. Um, you know, we've got ourselves in a good position in the league um, and we want to stay there. So is it all about how competitive this league is? That they're 11th in the table and they're only eight points away from us. It really is a really compact and competitive league. No, it's exactly that, and um, you know you can't sort of take your take your foot off the gas and and let these teams um, back in. You know we've got to try and keep them even further away from us in the league because you know if they get a bit of momentum and get on a good run, then you know they'll be looking to still have eyes for the playoffs themselves. So you know we've got ourselves in a really good position, like I say, and um, you know lads have worked really hard to get there, and we don't want to just throw it away now. So we want to be competitive. We want to you know look at. Um, the goals that we conceded recently and see where we can improve um, and at the same time you know we're scoring scoring lots and creating lots of chances so we want to try and maintain that as well. Uh, goal scorer we mentioned there from the previous game Nicky Wheeler uh, what do you reckon with him do you think he might be back in time for the game? Um, Nick's going to be back for that one um, his last day of his honeymoon so he'll be back Sunday so should be available Tuesday but he'll probably need a week's training so you know, we're looking more talky for Nicky. Um, but Luke is back now and got two sessions under his belt, so he'll add a little bit. Um, Molly Stark is missing tonight through illness, so you know we've got to look at look at that. There's a lot of illness in that going around. Hoping Michael Class is now over his little spout that he had. Um, yeah, and, and just have a look. Um, you know, we're looking at one or two players. Whether they'll be in in time for Saturday, I'm not quite sure yet. But um, you know this. There's a, f a few options out there uh, that we're pursuing and looking at at the moment uh, just to give us some more numbers and, and, and bolster the squad a bit. Um, Greg's still struggling with his groins, um, so I can't see him featuring um, too much on Saturday either. So, yeah, like I say, he's not a great deal back. Hopefully young Zach will be back training um, tonight. Um, like I say, we'll bolster up the, the numbers a little bit. Um, but, yeah, him and Juan Luque hoping to have a full complement on the bench uh, for this Saturday. Good news. Um, obviously, yeah, without a full bench last weekend, we still managed to get through that. Is that a concern for you at all that could stay that way if new people don't come in? No, yeah, we've, uh, obviously a day had his scan, so we're just still waiting to see uh, the extent of that sort of damage and how long he's going to be out. Um, but I can't see him returning anytime soon. He's um, swelled up quite badly, isn't he? Um, and then, like I say, Greg shouldn't be too long term. Nicky will be back for Tuesday if we need him. Juan Luque's back now. And like I say, there is a couple of options available to us as well. Um, but yeah, any more injuries, any more um, you know, illness or anything, then we've got to act quickly and, and um, you know, get, get players in if, 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 if we need to.
Looking in house transfers wise, um, with Josh in goal, Josh Jeffries, do you think there's any chance that that gets uh, rec- uh, extended? Yeah, well, um, I think it's up after Saturday. Um, so, yeah, we'll sit down tonight uh, with Kilo, Nath, see what the, the budget's looking like, and, and speak to Southampton, um, see what their view is on it. Um, and, yeah, just to just, just see where we are, really. Um, got good relationships now with Southampton and Bournemouth, so, you know, there's, there's potential for, for, for more loans there as well. So, they're the conversations we'll have in the next couple of weeks and stuff, and, and see what's out there, see what's available. But I don't think, although, you know, it looked quite bad with only three subs, you know, we was missing a couple of players as well, so, you know, we don't have to jump into anything too hasty at this stage, but, you know, at the same time, we want to, you know, keep our eyes open and if the right players come available then we'll definitely look to act.